anytime Don pull up, he gonna lay some. It don't matter if it's a, a eight bar hook, a verse. Like he hears something that's inspiring, he gonna lay like lay some, and that's the thing I love about Dom. You know. He heard the song one time and then put it on loop and did his verse. And I'm like, to me, that's verse of the year right now. When he had the verse and a beat, and obviously the open space is like, there's no way I'm leaving the studio without okay. adding something to it, you know? In the last, you know, 10 years plus, I guess, it's like, it's nobody really above you know what he's contributed to the whole genre of music you know and if it is he's like definitely in the conversation so the more he people see him the more they see me the more i have to raise my game up and be on point you know and with a song like corsa i get the perfect opportunity to do that won't jump click to click hit boy but i ain't like you kids they know what time it is peel off lambo tire skid doing the most imagine you and me close i'm to a head all of the homie shit did. I'm a real generous, humble guy. A lot of people that know me on a personal level know that. You know, I just put on for so many people over the years and lent my, you know, opportunities, lent my hand. And it's like, I don't care how long you know me now, the homie shit is dead. Like, you gotta just really respect what I'm on. Niggas can't call me they friend, call me they mans, or call me they woe. These 40 belows, my heart is still cold. I got it in Corsa, revving the mode. Corsa means race in Italian. I mean, I drive my, my Urus all the time, so I just like looking at the, the console and seeing the, the modes and just like really using Corsa mode. I'm like, I gotta like put that in the song somehow. I'm getting changed, they want me to slip through the cracks. Shorty is in me, she let me crash. Two person party, we having a bash. I mean, if I'm having a two-person party, I need a vibe, you know what I'm saying? A vibe, being a young lady, young fly, you know what I'm saying? Doing her thing, and we just tap in, have a two-person party. It don't matter what it consists of. What you think all the Sulio for? She told me go lock up the studio door. She acting up like it's the movie awards, for real, real, real. You gotta love a discreet freak, that's for real, real, real. Nigga, it's 20 on my receipt, that's for real, for real, real. I just left out H. Lorenzo and Max Field, told on me we still can't build. I be solo on the real, smoking personals a kill. You might spend five, six bands on one outfit walking out H. Lorenzo, so it's some real legit fly shit. I kept 1K, that's how I'ma stay. She weren't saint, but she not a saint. All 10 down, that's how I was raised for all of my days. I was raised with an interesting background because my pops, he been in prison basically like, you know, a lot of my life went in when I was three, didn't get out till I was pretty much grown and then got out, went back. Then I also got to see, you know, a side of success. My uncle uh, Rodney B was in a group called Truth. And uh, when it was at their height, like I used to live with him, me and my mom, like, and I just saw the whole lifestyle, studio sessions, like the fits they wore was extra crazy. That's why I'm, I'll be on my fly shit. You know, then I also watched the flip side of how the, the music industry can flip on you and just like, you know, it cannot be a sweep. Don't jump click the click. Most of these guys is counterfeit. I'm in the hood without a stick. You never know, might see some shit. She love me cause I don't come quick. I'm local, but still out the mix. The stripper bitch live by the Ritz. Talking slick, gon' get you hit. Bought my first house somewhere where I grew up in the same zip code where I went to elementary school. That was important for me. You know, but at the same time, it does have its challenges because like somebody could randomly be going down my street and be like, damn, Dom live right there. So it's like, I kind of got to be around, but still, you know, enough to keep my ear to what's going on, but not as accessible as like, you know, people could just bother me whenever they want to. I'm hood rich, but I never trick. She fine, but still I won't commit. Spoil hoes, throwing fits, want a nigga to pay that rent. You kind of got to splurge where you want, where you need to in certain instances, but it's like for me personally, like I'm never trying to like let my money speak for me too loud or be my everything, you know what I mean? Because then it's like, it's an empty feeling at the end of that, you know, that people don't really like to touch on, you know, but I know that side of it. And it's the same thing with the ladies. Like some dudes, they whole game is like, I'm gonna fly you out. You're not gonna catch no girl on camera saying that about me, never. I ain't like these rappers or these trappers hustling backwards. I talk facts, bro. All you at there is the fame and the pussy. That shit whack to us. When you do music for real, like, especially as long as we did it, like, we all know that, like, the jury, the fame, the lights, the women, like, that comes with it, but it also goes. You know, here, boy, I was watching his part. He touched on that a little bit, just about how the game will uplift you and make you shine. But then when all that stuff is gone, it's like, what do you really have? We have big parties. We not going to lie. Like, we might have a pool party. You know, the women going to outnumber the guys. But at the same time, we know if everybody leaves, 
we still gonna make an album. I put that on my cousin. I been thugging, two tires cost like 1600. My nigga died, I'm driving home, I'm sick to my stomach, but self pity won't cut it. I tell him up the budget. You know, I gotta shout out my dude, Buys One. He was a big radio dude. You know, he was from California, Southern California area. He put a lot of people in good positions in the radio and I had left his funeral. I was just feeling real bad about it. You know, he was one of my few allies that I had in the music game where I actually would enjoy playing him a song like Corsa. In that instance, in the song, me saying self-pity won't cut it, it's like, I know in my heart, no matter who I've lost, they wouldn't want, you know, my approach at what I do in life going forward to stop. I felt like Boz in that instance, like pushing me on, like, man, make this your best verse. Now niggas wanna own they masters, y'all actors. I'm a factor, roll like tractors, playing genuine the bachelor. If I want it, I could have it. And my Amex say I'm platinum at the car wash with a bad one. Take a pick with me, then tag him. I've been doing an independent thing for my whole career. You know, I had to start my own company in 2010 because when I was, you know, still in my mid 20s, didn't know anything, didn't have no type of leadership or lawyers or nobody to guide me or help me, you know, and it was like, I saw a lot of people in, a, in the whole industry really kind of come up off not doing that, you know, and it's like, now that it's convenient, you hear that a lot more in conversations, like people want to stand up and be like, oh, I'm independent now, or this or that, or I don't have this, or I have to do it by myself. Now they talk about the masters and this and that, but it's like, it's really acting. Niggas can't call me they friend, they call me they man, they call me they woe, these 40 below. My heart is still cold, I got it in sport, I'm revving the motor. Hey, I'm getting changed, they want me to slip through the crack. Baby is into me, she let me crash, two person party, we having a bash. Niggas can't call me they friend, they call me they man, they call me they woe. These, to me it's just perfect because it's straight business. You know, we've been in this game for a minute. At this point, we looking to like do great things, you know, and sometimes that don't automatically go with holding somebody hand. Sometimes you gotta be like, you know what? I'm on my business. This what I'm doing. This what I expect. I put a lot into this. I need to go far with it. And that sometimes cuts ties with people who just used to like being able to play around with you. This about to be my fourth Nas album in two years. You know, he don't even record like that as far as just knowing his track record. So just for me to be able to push something like that, you know, out of Nas and working with Dom, working with Benny, working with, you know, Big Sean, all the people I work with, like I'm always pushing for the next because I know if you slow down, it can get crazy.